The chemnitz adorf railway is a branch line in Saxony, Germany that was built and operated by the chemnitz auer adorfer eisenbahn gesellschaft CAAE. The 115 km long line originally ran from Chemnitz in a southwesterly direction along the valley of the river Zwanitz to Auer. From Auer the line ran along the Zwickauer Mulder to Muldenburg and up to Schoneck and through Markneukirchen to a dorf in Vogtland. The line was cut in two by the construction of the Eibenstock Dam Reservoir in 1975. The two truncated end sections are still in use, with the Vogtlandbahn Railway Company operating over the southwestern section from Adorf to Muldenburg, and the Erzgebirgsbahn Railway Company operating the Chemnitz to our section under the name Zwanitz Valley Railway German, Zwanitztalbahn. History Topic. Background and construction In July 1872 the Chemnitz Auer Adorfer Eisenbahn Gesellschaft gained the concession to build and operate a railway line from Chemnitz through Auer und Schoneck to Adorf in Vogtland. The Saxische Eisenbahnbaugesellschaft were given the contract to construct the line, but there were financial difficulties so suddenly, in 1874, the contract was taken back in-house. The topology of the line presented challenges but the work was completed by 15 November 1875. The Zwickauer Mulder Valley section between Auer Eibenstock Schoneck, VOGTL, was ready for opening on 7 September 1875. On 24 December 1875, the complementary line, the 8 km long Swagbahn from Zwotentel to the Czech border at Klingenthal, was opened. Here it joined to the falkenau Graslitz border line of the Buschtierader Eisenbahn. But even in the first year of operation, the takings were below expectation and the company sold the line on 15 July 1876 to the Saxony government. This was the end of the CAAE and their planned extension to Hof, Germany, in Bavaria. Topic. Operations The Royal Saxon State Railways ran the line under the name CA taking the letters from Chemnitz and Adorf. A planned extension was never implemented. Due to the unfavorable topology of the line, with long climbs and tight corners in the region of Losnitz and Schoneck, made it unsuitable for heavy goods trains. The short section between Auer und Zwanitz was known as the Saxische Semmering, the line climbed 255 meters. In 1920 the chemnitz auer adorfer railway passed to the newly formed Deutsche Reichsbahn. After World War II regional express trains ran from Dresden and Chemnitz to Adorf. On 1 March 1967 the former mainline was reclassified as a branch line. <inaudible> <inaudible> Extensions From 1899 to 1970 a goods line ran from Zwanitz to Stolberg to bring the coal from the Oelsnitzer Revere in the Erzgebirge. The track was removed on closure. In 1900, it was extended through Bierfeld und Eltalin to Scheibenberg. This line fell to the Soviet Union as a war reparation and was closed and removed in 1945. The district capital of Auerbach was connected to the line in 1891 90 seconds by means of a short connection from Falkenstein, VOGTL, and Muldenberg. 
On 15 November 1892 the line was opened and it is still in use today by the Vogtland Bahn as part of the Zwickai Kraslis route. Only a short connecting line was needed from the CA Linney to the town Eibenstock which was opened in 1905 and ran until 5 October 1975. This was the most precipitous line in Saxony with a gradient of 120 or 50 per mil. A further extension was from Siebenbrunn to Erlbach, this gave a direct connection to Markneukirchen. Traffic ran to Markneukirchen from 20 September 1910, and to Erlbach from 1 October 1911. The line closed 1 June 1975. Topic. Contraction In 1975 the section between Wolfsgrun und Schonheide was permanently cut by the successful construction of the Tulspare Eibenstock Reservoir. The last train between Adorf and Karl Marx Stadt Chemnitz was on 27 September 1975, as was the last train on the short stretch to Eibenstock Ob. BF. Passenger trains continued between Karl Marx Stadt and Blauenthal, and also between Schonheid OST under Dorf. The service between Schonheid OST and Schonheid Sud finished 1 January 1979. The section to Muldenburg closed on 23 May 1982. Goods traffic continued to Schonheide OST until 1995. The passenger service from Auer to Blauenthal was also withdrawn in 1995. Reorganization The Vogtlandbahn has been running trains on this section from Muldenburg to Adorf since 1997. As part of regeneration project for derelict lines in 1996, the tracks were rebuilt to 80 km per hour standard. This section is used by VB5 Hof Plauen, Falkenstein, Adorf, using Duwag Regiosprinter train sets. Then in 2002 the section from Chemnitz to Auer was opened by the DB Erzgebirgsbahn, and in 2003 this section was upgraded to 80 km per hour standard. And since 2005 whole section is now back in service. Construction work remains May 2008, particularly at the level crossings. This section is now known as the Zwinitstallbahn. Chemnitz is a center for a train tram experiment. Here the low-floored trains run on tram lines through the city, both using the 1,435 mm standard gauge and adapting to the two power systems. Further usage On 6 October 2007 a 2.8 km stretch of the track between Schonheide Sud and Rautenkranz was brought back in service. The West Saxische Eisenbahn FHWE Railway Preservation Group has created a museum railway running the Wernergrüner Schinnen Express. Topic. Description of the line The chemnitz auer adorfer railway leaves chemnitz Hauptbahnhof with the tracks of the dresden werdei line towards the west. In chemnitz Sudbahnhof the track branches south. After a junction with the line to Stolberg, the line follows the Zwinitztal, and this section is known as the Zwinitztalbahn. At the former Zwanitz station the tracks cross the watershed of the Zwickauer Mulder. The tracks follow the Lonitztal downwards into Auer. 
Hour was one of the biggest and most notable stations on the former CA line. Today the station mainly used by Erzgebirgsbahn passenger trains. There is no goods traffic. Hour is a terminus for the Zwickau Johannjorgenstadt line. The next section, from Auer to Muldenburg, has been closed since 1995. After the Auer station the tracks make an arc around the town center and lead down the Muldertal. Shortly before Bokor is one of the two tunnels on the line. The tracks have been removed and the track bed is part of a cycle way between Auer and Eibenstock. The track bed continues through Wolfsgrund station to Eibenstock. The Tulspare Eibenstock reservoir cuts the line, and floods the former Eibenstock Unterer Bahnhof, which was the starting point of the steep line to the Eibenstock Oberen Bahnhof. The second tunnel on the line is also beneath the reservoir. From Schonheide OST station, the track bed resumes. In Muldenburg the tracks take Votlandbahn running from Falkenstein and ascend to Schoneck on the crest of the Erzgebirge. It steeply descends to Zwotentel where the branch to Klingenthal and Kraslis joins. Descending further the track reaches a dorf in Elstertel where it meets the plowen kep line which was originally the Hurlisgrun-Ager line of the Votlandischen Staatseisenbahn. <laughs> 